and welcome to your reading Aries. Today I am doing something different. I'm picking out some cards from two different decks. One is called the Chakra Mindset. That's the booklet. Um, and it comes with mantras. So I thought that that would be a fun thing to do to see what your theme is. This today, this week, whenever you get this message. And um, the other deck I'm using is the Crystal Spirits where I will be then reading out the message in relation to relationships as well as prosperity. So very exciting reading that um, Spirit has um, downloaded for the Aries Collective. So if you're celebrating your birthday, happy birthday. We are in Aries season. And um, if you're new to my world, I do these readings for Aries Collective and All Signs every day. So daily there is a new reading that goes up on my channel. So hit the notification bell if you haven't already so that you get notified when the next video is up. The other thing is I'm an Aries myself. So I am doing something very special for the Aries Collective, which is daily birthday readings as well. So in addition to the daily readings, I'm doing birthday readings as well. So do check them out on my channel. And I do one card pools, which is in the short section of my channel. So you can check that out as well. And there's always fun, fabulous things in the community tab as well. Thank you so much for all your likes, subscribes, shares, donations. They mean the world to me and it helps me to keep this channel going. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate each and every one of you. So let's get into it. So what's the message that's coming up for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? See what message spirit has in store. This is a very beautiful deck. Um, I've had it for quite a few years. Let's see. This one wants to come out. Because the messages are quite long, I will be pulling cards based on what. Oh, wow. Wow. So the sacral chakra has come out. And I love this for the Aries Collective because. Um, Aries by nature is a very fiery and passionate um, sign. So, and it is very much to do with the sacral. So I love that the sacral chakra has come up. So let's see what the sacral chakra message is. So I might hold, I might try to multitask and do two things. Let's see how good, how good I am with both of those things. By the way, if you hear some background noise, I do apologize. There's construction work happening. I am using a noise cancelling microphone and I have tested it. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about the construction. It's few houses down from where I am. And no matter which room I record from, I can't get away from it. But this microphone, um, I've tested it. It seems to be working fine my end. So I hope you can hear me and you can't hear the drilling, the hammering and the excavating. So here we go. This card says the sacral chakra is located just below your navel and it is your center of pleasure, feeling and emotion. Re realize that this is your right to feel good, to enjoy the sensations of pleasure and to open yourself up to receive all that your heart desires. When your sacral chakra is balanced, you express your feelings and emotions with ease and are comfortable with your own sexuality and desires. When your sacral chakra is blocked you may feel the need to deny yourself the pleasures in life be adverse to sensuality and close to your own sexuality so the advice is take some time to reflect and ask yourself what would my inner child like to do the second question do i allow myself to feel pleasure if not why not third question am i open to my own sensuality and sexuality aries Explore these areas of your life and know that now is the time to make a change. Release any feelings of guilt and allow yourself to feel good. And you can see from this card, it's a very happy, vibrant energy, Aries. The mantra. So there is a mantra that comes with this card. I release the feelings of guilt that are holding me back and know that I deserve to feel pleasure. I now open myself up and am receptive to the feelings that will bring me pleasure and joy. I allow myself to feel. Oh my goodness, as I said the last sentence, I allow myself to feel. So perhaps even if you can't remember all the other meanings, the main thing to take away is I allow myself to feel. So be open and receptive and allow yourself to feel. Then let's see, this is 38. So let me get to that page. Safe. 
I'm definitely resonating with these um, messages. So safe. It is safe for you to speak up and say what it is that you have been holding back. When you speak from the heart, your words and actions are empowering and insightful. At times, you may have kept silent due to fears of drawing attention to yourself or speak against norms. Let go of your self-imposed limitations and know that you are safe to communicate all that has been going unsaid. When your intentions are pure, you will be guided and protected in all of your communications. Ensure that you convey what is it you would like in return. If you would just want to want someone to listen, tell them. If you want an opinion, let people know. Make sure that those around you also feel safe to share their thoughts and desires with you and others. The mantra, it is safe for me to communicate my thoughts and desires. When I come from a place of love and truth, the divine walks beside me. Your relationships will flourish as you begin to speak your truth. You are loved and respected. Your fear around communication is creating barriers between you and the people around you. It is safe for you to speak your truth. So I love this. It is safe for you to speak your truth. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the crystal deck. Let's see what message is coming out for the Aries Collective. Now these cards, I love these cards. And the reason why I selected this deck is because... It gives you messages bo for both relationships and abundance and prosperity. So, and an overall message. So, you know, whatever your situation circumstance is, you, the card can, you can focus the meaning based on what, what you're focusing on, whether it's finances, relationships, um, whatever your case may be. Any other cards for the Aries Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Nope. So we have... This crystal that wants to pop out. Pitolite. It's gorgeous. It's very... There is a figure with a third eye. I don't know if you can see that clearly. Um, but it, it's, it's just very light, faint. And it's almost like it's got a crystal on the third eye section of the figurine. It's very pale and um, it's very gorgeous let me just find the page in the book okay so this witnessing the observer an ability to detach the impersonal quality of the universe sometimes life feels too close for comfort decisions are difficult to make when you are taking life so personally this is particularly true for empaths and sensitives when Petalite Spirit arrives, it's here to give you the ability to step back and observe with detachment and neutrality. There is a place within you that allows you to observe without emotions. See the world with the perspective of acceptance, trying to change not what you see as external to you, but rather the lens through which you perceive it. So the relationship message. There are times when you're emotionally too close to a situation to come to a real conclusion it's also possible that what is really going on can't be seen by analyzing the details and guessing at the mo motives for someone else's behavior may be triggering you. Right now, the way forward is to step back, do nothing, and observe the dynamic between you and the other person. Soon everything will become clear and, you, and by you becoming the observer, you'll find that you didn't really need to do anything to change. this situation prosperity message when you get bogged down with all the details and complexities of a situation it requires patience and ability to step back and observe the bigger picture at work when intending abundance there are times when you think you have all the answers or you believe you know the how of getting to a goal or outcome when in fact you don't the universe must play its part and that means you don't have to be afraid even temporary setbacks will lead to big wins if you avoid reacting to the temporary conditions that arise when you make changes and reach for something greater. There is a saying, new level, new devil. Imagine that relating to your own resistance to greatness. Pe Petalite spirit says to trust and observe and to remind yourself from the position of the observer. Everything is interesting. I love this message. 
I so, so love this message. So there you have it, Aries. This was your reading. I hope you enjoyed. This was a very different style of reading to how I do normally, but I was called to use these decks and I like to use, you like to follow my divine guidance and share the gift and also share some different decks with you. So if you've enjoyed this, please do hit the like, subscribe and do comment, share in comments whether this was something you enjoyed and I should do more of. That also lets me know um, if you'd like to see this type of readings and play with different cards and energies to get different insights. Um, and I so appreciate having you here in my world. Thank you so much for all your love, support, donations. They mean an absolute world to me. And happy birthday if you're celebrating your birthday.